Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, a few videos ago we showed you how to float your social media icons to the right on your secondary menu bar, which is the blue one up here, the white one being the primary. We had a question on one of the videos. You can put a telephone number up here as well. And somebody was asking you, how do you change the font of the telephone number? Well, it's really easy. So this will be a pretty short video. So let's go to our dashboard. I'm going to do this in a theme customizer. Dashboard, down to Divi, down to theme customizer. First thing I need to do is put in the telephone number, obviously. So let's go to header and navigation. We'll go to header elements. And there's a little box for our phone number. Or if you prefer to have it with gaps or dashes, just put gaps or dashes in there. Okay, so there's our telephone number, there's our social media icons. The easiest way to do this is simply to go back, go to your secondary menu bar, and you can slide the text size up and down, as simple as that. Now, I've got a feeling that's not the question that's being asked, because uh, that is too obvious. I think perhaps they were asking can we change the font size here uh, and make it separate from the other things up there yep that's pretty easy too I'm using Google Chrome here I'm going to use the Chrome inspector to get a bit of custom CSS going and don't let that put you off any code I write today I'll put below this video and you're welcome to use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the telephone number up there and hit inspect And as you can see over here, it's got an ID of ET Info Phone, so you can affect it differently. So let's go here. Here's ET Info Phone. With the inspector, as long as you've got elements selected over here, you'll have HTML and CSS. Your inspector may be in a different place. You can change the position of your inspector. With these three little buttons right there, put it where you want it. Okay, well let's change the font size this way so it doesn't affect that. Let's just make it a bit smaller, I suppose. Let's give it um, font size. Let's say 12 pips, that should make it a lot smaller. There we go. Of course you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you like. The only thing that you need to bear in mind, if you make it bigger, let's make it 20 pips or something. You may have to adjust the padding for your social icons. It may throw them out. So let's say 20 picks. That's okay. That's actually fine. Um, yeah, you see if I make it real big like that, it's putting a little bit too much padding there. In that case, you'd have to go to your social icons and just add a bit more padding on the top. There we go, it'd be here, social icons eight, padding top. And we want to push it down a bit. So let's try 10 picks. That's probably going to be too much. Yeah. And with the inspector, if you just select the number, you can roll your mouse wheel up or down and get it where you want it. So you can adjust it that way. But uh, let's go back to this. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to take this back to how it was. And I'll show you how to make this permanent. Because at the moment with the Chrome inspector, if you refresh, this will all disappear. So I'm going to take that back down to 12 pixels. And again, I just right clicked on it, went down to inspect, ET info phone, font 25. Let's take that back to 12. There we go. That padding's probably still there, but when we refresh it, it won't be. And you can do anything you like individually to it. You can change the color if you want to. Or anything, any other type of decoration that you care to do. So that's how easy it is. Let's write this and make it permanent. So what I'm going to do is from the beginning of the hashtag there to the end of the last one that I did, or you can take the whole lot if you want, and we can just get rid of the margin right because we didn't affect that. Control C to copy. Now we can get rid of our inspector once that code's copied. Hit the back arrow. We're still in the customizer here. Back to the sort of home page of the customizer down to additional CSS 
jot down a couple and we can give it a title so it's easier to find later on wood slash star star forward slash back a couple I'll just say phone and simply drop down and paste that code that we copied from a Chrome inspector I'm gonna delete that one that I didn't put in there it really doesn't matter but don't need to double up on your code hit the publish button so there you have it that is how to affect and change the font size of your telephone number either with or without affecting your social icons short and sweet so I hope you've enjoyed that I hope that's answered the question for you once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.